In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to design a Shopify website that actually converts. Everything from the product branding, the landing pages, and how you can get more sales online. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Here I am on a Shopify store that we've designed, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can be able to structure a Shopify site that actually gets more conversions. Most of you lack on the product branding side, and you miss out on a lot of key opportunities that fit on brand and get consumers excited about your business. And this is dog products. And I've gone ahead and branded the website, the different products, and if we click on one of these products, you can see that each landing page is custom designed to the exact product. We're calling out the features and benefits, which is a key component. We've simplified the entire process. Even the add to cart is very obvious. We have key bullet points here, which is a no rinse shampoo, lavender scented, keeps bugs away from your pets. And it's for pups who love to stay fresh and dry. This is a very simple description of the product. We don't need a long form description to explain what this is. And then we have some nice visuals here that highlights that it's ideal for all dogs and sizes, the lavender scent, and then say goodbye to the hassle of bath time with fresh foam before and after images. And really for a product design page like this, it can work for any brand or business. You need to be able to have very visual, compelling imagery alongside key callouts and benefits, and then simplify dropdowns that really call out all the information somebody needs to make a purchase. Not only that, but when we add to cart, we have the slide cart that once again fits on brand with our products with recommended upsells. And we even have three packs and bundles to increase our AOVs and offer free shipping on certain orders. These are all things that allow you to get 3%, 5%, even seven to 10% plus conversion rates. Imagine the difference that would make in your Shopify store if you're running Facebook or TikTok ads and you're converting two to three, even five times the amount of people who visit your site you would make so much more money because of it. And then as we scroll down, we have some more descriptive imagery and information around our product. And then one key call out for the headline and then get 10% off your first order. Now you might be wondering, I do not know how to brand something like this or design something like this. No worries, because I'm gonna walk you through the entire process from start to finish on how we ideated, came up with and designed and put all this together. And the first place that starts with is looking at competition. When we're looking at competitors in this space, we're looking at one of the products here, which is a paw bomb. And if we go back to our website and go to our shop, we offer a paw bomb and that's where the first product originated. And so when we offer a paw bomb and we're looking at some of these competitor images, they don't really stand out. So we noticed a gap in the market. So if you sell a similar product to your competitors, you need to figure out a design that's going to stand out from the competition. So they have their logo and some basic information, pretty simple, but nothing too exciting. And we have another one here. This one's just a label with an actual dog on it. Wasn't a big fan of this one either. This one's more focused on a prescription type looking design. And then we have another one, which is a little bit more fun. It has some lettering, has a cat here but you can't really see the key callouts and it's kind of hard to read with the fonts and text that they're using. So there's definitely an opportunity in this space to be able to come in, rebrand, offer a better product and be able to scale. And so when we looked at this, we ended up coming up with the design and we started out in Canva. And as you can see, there's lots of different designs we came up with. We first started with a design where we had a bow and we had Paul Bomb and then we named it Peaches with different colors. And this one didn't really stand out too well and if we go to some of our older designs, you can see how we went through a lot of ideation. It takes a lot of different variations with your product imagery to be able to find something that is really going to stick. And so this is another color example we were playing with, and we were using the Coolers website to come up with different colors. So you can go to this website and pick out a color palette. This is how we actually played with different colors on Canva. And then we started to come to something a little bit more different, which we were testing a gradient background I really like this one, it popped. We were doing the icons, but something about it just wasn't fully standing out to us. So we came to a design that was more simplified, but really called out the paw bomb. So that way that was the main center focus. And we had it a little bit bigger then we shrunk it. And eventually we landed on a design that looks something like this. And as you can see, we continue to iterate, playing with the spacing and sizing. And before you know it, we ended up landing on a final design. And as you can see here, this is the official design of the product we came to. So we still have the gradients included because we did like that touch. 
it stands out and it pulls all of the attention and zeros it in on this main call out so people know what they're buying. And that allows us to be able to drive attention to the right information so people know we're selling a product for dogs and that it's a paw bomb. And then from here, we were able to leverage this branding and coloring to then come up with mock-ups. And so we would come up with a mock-up design by going into Canva and we played with a white background. And as you can see, we just drag and drop these images in. We literally designed the website how we wanted to with our branding and fonts and put in all the buttons for what we wanted the site to look like. And this is what the first iteration of the design came out to be. And then we iterated on it some more by what does the social channels look like? Because we wanna make sure the branding with the website, the product and the socials all go together. So we brought in more color palettes, designed everything to see what it would look like across the board before we actually built all of this out. This is a good way to outline your website, be able to play with the branding because when you're designing in the software and you're having to make all these tweaks and adjustments, you can end up you know, designing something, not liking it, and then you have to revert all the changes. Whereas a tool like Canva, it's free. You can design everything you want, test it out and once you finally decide on something then you can actually put it into work and then we play with the background some more and this started to really bring the vibe and overall feel to the website together and then we played with what the actual bottom of the website would start to look like so this is the design we started to land on and we were able to pull in different icons a dog bring in some peach branding and even have three packs and see what a subscribe and save would look like so that way we could get a well-branded site and from here what we ended up doing was we used a tool called Replo, which is linked in this description of the video. And this is where we can actually design out the product. So the great thing about this is if you go to components, when you set up your store, unlike traditional templates where you're limited to options and maybe you don't have a way to put in a banner, or maybe you don't have a way to add a slide card, or you can't add images like this, or even on mobile, it's much different. You know, everything looks great from mobile to desktop in this scenario. And the way we're able to do this is by simply just going to sections, and you can actually find different branding. So you can go to pages and find some of the top conversion rate templates and start there. As you can see, Javi, the coffee, that actual website is here. Here's another template. So whether you're selling clothing, supplements, anything you can think of, there is product branding for all. And so here's Overnight Oats. Each of them have their template here. There's Aura Ring, Ridge Wallet. And so all of these you can look at and they even have Dr. Squatch. You can take some of their landing pages and redesign it yourself. So I would choose one of these templates, add it in, and you can start making adjustments. And you can even adjust the background color, add in your product imagery, and we built these out in Canva. As you can see, we just drop in our headline, our subheadline, pull in a dog image, drop in the before and after with the actual arrow, and then we can take this image, download it, and we can go back to Replo, upload the images here, and before you know it, we have a well-designed product page. And when we go to layers and components, we can even search up dropdowns, and we have our actual dropdowns we can bring in here. We can even go to basic and pull in headlines, our ratings, buttons, icons. They have everything we need in the layouts, interactions, countdown timers, carousels, pretty much every conversion rate tactic you can think is available here to slash out pricing, to have your actual product price, and even choose so many different options here. And all around, this tool is absolutely amazing and integrates with a lot of apps. So I highly recommend actually using that link to sign up on this. So that way you can design a product landing page that truly converts. So you wanna look at your product branding. You wanna compare it to the competition. You wanna be able to design something that's different than your competitors. And then make custom landing pages for each product because that'll really bring the life into the actual business and the brand and get people excited. And then you wanna simplify your descriptions, your dropdowns, and put all your key information in a visual view. That way people can quickly scan and make a decision to buy. This video was meant to be simple in nature, and I just wanted to highlight exactly what the process looks like for being able to curate, ideate, and put together a Shopify store that converts. And if you're interested in joining our one-on-one -on -one ads mastery mentorship, where we help you do all of this, plus your Facebook ads, your TikTok ads, and everything in between, then definitely make sure to book a call below and apply these strategies. And once again, it's your favorite digital marketer here, Chase Chapel. Cheers and bye all.